I have been living in the back of my pickup truck for the past seven months. I am enjoying the lifestyle, but it isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are certain things that absolutely suck. The first thing that I dislike is having to use public restrooms. The bathroom at my work or at the gym are generally pretty nice, but if I were to go to a Walmart or a Target, for the most part, those are going to be absolutely destroyed. I've also used the bathrooms at gas stations quite a bit. I only recommend that if you're going to do number ones. If you're doing number twos, that's when you're at the risk of getting crabs. I have run into the issue of having to urinate at night. When that does come up, I have an emergency bathroom that I use. And not to brag, but I do need to upgrade the size. There have been a couple of times where I've topped the bottle off and having to stop mid urination while on your knees in the back of a camper shell is not a good scenario to be in. I have woken up in the morning when I feel like I'm about to pee my pants. I just got to get in my truck, uh, run over to a gas station or the nearest grocery store. I have come close to just urinating on the side of my pickup truck, but I do not recommend that. That is a very quick way to end up on Megan's list and become a registered sex offender. And that's just not something I'm looking to do at this time in my life. Luckily, I haven't had any bathroom emergencies as far as number twos go. I attribute that to eating lots of fiber, lots of vegetables. I also drink Metamucil daily. So that just sort of keeps me regular. The second thing that I dislike is my constant concern for my safety. When I play out different scenarios in my head as far as potential things that can go wrong, they usually revolve around two different things. The first is someone breaking into my camper shell, and the second is someone rear-ending me while I'm sleeping in the camper shell. Sleeping in cities is pretty sketchy. You don't really know what kind of characters are wandering around right outside your camper shell. It is not an uncommon sight in any major California city to walk down the street and see multiple cars with their windows smashed in. I personally had my home invaded back in July. I wasn't there at the time, it was parked on the street. Someone smashed my back rear window, took my backpack, but they were kind enough to leave my jet boil behind. The only line of home defense I currently have is my hot dog spear. It isn't a very effective weapon. I have tossed around the idea of packing some heat and getting a handgun. My main concern really is that if I do fire this weapon in the back of the camper shell, that it will blow my eardrums out. I have seen many car crashes in my line of work and I can tell you that if a vehicle rear ends me while I'm sleeping back there, it's not going to be a good outcome for me. The next thing that I dislike has to do with my love life, which by the way, if you're curious, I am heterosexual as well as single. Overall, I would say that my dating of the female gender hasn't been negatively affected by my mobile lifestyle. I usually don't tell the girl till the second or third date about my living situation. I use those first couple of encounters as a time to try to swoon them with my words. But when I do tell them, the majority of girls seem to think it's pretty cool, but there are a handful of girls who immediately reach for their bear mace. The main issue I encounter occurs a little bit longer into the relationship. It's not exactly easy to have girls over at my place. Not many girls want to Netflix and chill at the Walmart parking lot. One of the worst things about living out of my pickup truck thus far has to be when I'm either not feeling 100% or I'm a little under the weather. And this could be attributed to a couple of different things. The first is my work. I work 24 hour shifts. Sometimes I work up to 120 hours in a row. Sleep is not always guaranteed. There's some nights where we're up all night. And the last thing I wanna do when I get off shift is to go live in my pickup truck. Another reason that I might be feeling under the weather has to do with alcohol. I don't drink tons, but once every couple of weeks or so, I will throw back some beers. I'm 29 years old, I'll be turning 30 here in April, and my hangovers are absolutely terrible. Waking up in a camper shell hungover is god awful. I don't wish it upon anyone. It's definitely in the top 15 worst experiences of my life. To combat being hungover or just tired, I usually resort to going and getting some comfort food. So I'll go to 7-Eleven, get some gummy bears, and then I'll head to a park and I'll just sort of lay out and nap for a couple hours. 
Another thing that has proven to be an issue is laundry. With my schedule, I can have up to four days off, but usually I only have two or three in a row. And over those two or three days, I usually work out every day. So I accumulate gym clothes. And what I've been doing so far is toss them in a plastic bag and throwing some scented dryer sheets in there. It hasn't worked that well. Sometimes, especially during the summer when it's hot, the clothes is sort of fester in the plastic bag and it just smells terrible in my pickup truck. There have been a handful of times where I've coughed up the five bucks and went to a laundromat. Those are some of the things that I dislike about living in my truck thus far. I'm sure the list will change and grow as the months pass by. My goal is to go at least another five months. That put me at a year living out of my truck, at which point I will reevaluate, see where I'm sitting financially.